guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, yeah, so I think I was kind of saying how, like, on the last episode, like, this episode is going to be, um, my vlogs, like, the very first vlog I'm going to upload on here, so I'm really excited. But, yes, a few weeks ago, I went to the Cobb International Film Festival. Uh, one of the films I worked on this past spring semester, we got selected uh, for screening there, so I went for that, and also just for, you know, the atmosphere. But, yes, so... I'm gonna kind of do like a vlog review, so we're gonna like kind of hop into the vlog first, and then after that I'm gonna do my review. But yeah, so without further ado, let's get to the vlog. International Film Festival, Manava Evan, got my little VIP pad and my wristband. This is my fit. Get into it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're racing to go to our screen silly right now. <laughs> <laughs> Before I show y'all our film, let me show y'all the inside of the strand. It definitely gives that retro, like old school theater vibes. They have some famous performers names on the back of their seats. presentation called what every actor needs to know to succeed in the industry with two-time Emmy award-winning actor Gregory Allen Williams uh, I got what every actor should know uh, about succeeding in music career, licensing uh, reimagined <laughs> Piece of time screamed at Cliff. Uh, it was good. It was really good. Mm -hmm. um, it's my second time coming to the Strand, the Cobb International Film Festival, and it's my first time having a film screened here, so it's like a dream come true. Last year I went here on accident. <laughs> this time was very intentional, and yeah, um, it was really good. Nice. What would you tell younger you, like a year ago, like like last year? What would you tell him? Uh, we directed a film, we made a movie, and uh, got places. 
<laughs> okay, so what was the most challenging and most rewarding shot to film for Pizza Time? I think it was the shot where I was, or I guess you can't really tell, but I was on a ladder and I was pulling my camera upside down, filming the last, uh, I guess, stunt or whatever of the day. It was the scene where Pizza Girl and Boss were fighting over the pizza and it flipped in the air. It was this like idea that I had, um, coming up with ideas. Um, with my DP Yemi, we were just coming up with ideas for the shots and I had this one shot idea that I really wanted to do and it, I think it worked out and it took like 20 takes uh, but in the end I, I think it, it was worth it. Nice, nice. Um, what was like your favorite part of filming Pizza Time? I think it was like the first day. Mm -hmm. Everybody like went on set uh, for the first time, and everybody was just like so, so smooth. Uh, getting me in the chair for uh, makeup, Jane and, and Haley putting all that crap on me, and Jules too, uh, putting all that on me, and setting up the first shot, and just seeing that first frame. I think that was like the best feeling that I had. This knowing that it would look good and um, yeah, just knowing that it will work out. Nice. Okay, so I know you had like multiple roles for Pizza Time. What was like your favorite role? Uh, I guess, yeah, it's my first time, I guess, acting in that way. I've always had like a background role. And, it was fun directing myself. No one else would act as the guy tied up in a chair, and uh, I stepped up to it, and I'm glad I casted myself. It was fun. <laughs> um, is there like anything that like you want like, the audience doesn't know when it came to like making Pizza Time? Um, we all got very lucky. I got very lucky. Uh, I got so lucky to have everyone on my crew, um, on my crew, and I think if anything was different, then it wouldn't have turned out the way it did, and I'm just so grateful that everybody was able to do it. Okay, so we have made it to day two. This is the outfit for day two. Can get my jacket to uh, uh, cooperate. <laughs> yes, this is the look. Me too. After the producer's presentation, I was able to film that. We went to Peru for lunch with the crew. This fire dragon painting on the wall. And then Baru is such a great spot. Like it's a really good pokey spot. Highly recommend. And okay, just one more time to appreciate this beauty. Here's my food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seaweed sale is Sweet, nice. And then when we got back to the Strand, they had this vintage slash antique auction going on. Here's some of the things from there. After that, we went to the sit and chat with cast and director Brian Beagle. That was really cool. Got some really good like acting tips from him.
know, I was a child actor here in Atlanta, moved to LA after college, moved back here, started in casting in 2007. And it's really easy to get what I was talking about because I love being a part of this industry. Um, and and the, the big reason why is because I get to know you guys. I take a lot of self tapes now, most of what I do, but I come from an in person world in that world. So I challenge you guys to just use it. That's enough about me. I like to meet each of you as well. So. There are some examples. No, I'm asking you, so your line hasn't changed. The car I saw is blue. You see, I'm changing the intent of this line, okay? So you just saw your girlfriend leave with another guy in the car. The car I saw was blue. Okay. Um, you just saw somebody steal your car. The car I saw was blue. You actually hate that car. The car I saw was blue. some more films then it was the award ceremony so first of all I do want to thank our major sponsors for this um, we get to get long shot at me After the award ceremony, we went to this pub nearby. That's Sophia. She was a camera op for pizza time. <laughs> All right. So, how was Cliff overall? Festival overall? Mm -hmm. It was a win. I mean, we didn't win anything, uh, but I think the whole experience was was great. Okay, if you could redo this weekend, what would you redo? Mm, I would stay to watch more films. I'd probably, I'd want to honestly see if I can watch all the films instead of taking breaks. So that'd be a, that'd be a challenge. <laughs> Ninety-five films that they showed. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. um, what was your favorite part of this weekend? I think just meeting meeting a lot of new people. I met uh, the guy that played uh, that one guy on that one film. He's pretty famous. I got a picture with him too. Um, if if you have that picture, you just put that right here. <laughs> uh, but it was like it was really really cool experience meeting him. Meeting a lot of like other filmmakers. Um, and yeah, honestly, talking with like. The, the new, I guess, hmm. talking with the uh, the speakers was really fun, mm -hmm. uh, really fun learning, and uh, honestly, like, yeah, just also watching our film, <laughs> watching our film on the screen that I've always, like, I guess, dreamed of, yeah. Mm -hmm. The Strand has always been, like, really, really close, so it was great. Nice, nice. Um... Okay, what was your, like, least favorite part? Hmm. I was really cold in the theater. <laughs> I was shivering. I definitely... I definitely would have wore a coat. And I probably should have learned because I've been here all four days. But I think... 
wore a coat. But it ha it was also like 90 something degrees in the morning, so it's like, I don't think I would ever reasonably bring a coat, but like, yeah, it was just really cold. But other than <laughs> that, it was great. Um, so would you come back next year? Absolutely. And this time we'll win. Write that down. <laughs> well, we will win something next year. Period. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of any more questions. Um, no, that's all the questions I have. <laughs> Thank you for having me. No problem. <laughs> <laughs>